What's up guys, Ankle Spankin' here, and today we are playing as Azir in the mid lane. And apparently Sebastian says he's annoying to play in this patch, but who knows, we'll find out. We will find out. Anyways, starting off today I want to bring you guys a very personally exciting announcement for me. I have officially released my second channel. Um, it's very creatively named Ankle Spankin'. Too, um, because I didn't want to lose the name Ankle Spanking for anything. I didn't want to change it to much of anything else, so I just made it Ankle Spanking too. And I'll put that in the description if you guys want to go sub to it. Essentially, it's just a channel where I play any game that's not League of Legends that I want to play. So it really opens the door for me um, to to do what I originally wanted to do with YouTube and that was to just be general commentator and have fun. Granted, pre-warning, I'm not very good at the general commentating yet. Only League of Legends and even them. I'm still working on. But, um... Uh oh, oh, great. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but even that, even with that, I think it'll be a fun game. I love Azir. Anyways, um... With that second channel out, though, that's a really exciting thing for me. Hopefully you guys will stick around and help me, because I, I assume that since my gameplay sometimes is not the best, uh, a lot of you guys do enjoy my videos for me, so I was hoping a lot of you guys would sub to that for me and, you know, enjoy those. Anyways, with all that said, uh, let's go ahead and start off this game. It looks like I... Oh, there's there's my opponent. I am against a... R oh, God, my minion didn't attack. Oh, fuck, it ran out at the wrong time, but it's okay. Let's go ahead and get some poke off on her and a hit off on the minion. So, good job, Azir. Eh, eh. That's one thing I'm actually really bad at, is keeping my eyes on the turret when I'm trying to auto-attack someone. Oh, wait, it's Lee, so I need to be really careful for, like, a, uh, a level 2 gank. So, I'm actually going to hold my level 2 ability right now, because if Lee Sin comes from behind me, I'm going to level up my E. And I'm going to get the heck away from him. Because I do not want none of that. So, until I'm level 3, until I see something, I'm just going to hold on to my ability for now. So, let's see. Riven actually taking a lot of poke just from, um, just from my sand soldiers doing work. It looks like Sebastian and Connor getting first blooded over there in bot lane will be rip. I actually haven't been against a Riven mid in a really long time. I'm kind of surprised to see this, but it's okay. I'm going to go ahead and word on this side, because Lee Sin probably started as red, meaning he's not going to be... Pro he's probably not going to be ganking me from that side. Um, let's go ahead and get some more minions down here, though. Overall, decent trade. There's Lee Sin. Now speak of the devil. And... Oh boy, here comes Nautilus though, and he didn't hit it. Okay, well, never mind. I was, I was, I was, I was kind of expecting Nautilus to hit that, but it's okay, it's okay. He tried. Luckily, he was there for the counter gang, so Lee Sin just backed off anyways. But I do still need to be careful. I'm actually not entirely sure. I take that back. I'm totally like entirely sure what to do. So I'm just gonna hop over this wall and get on out of here. So. Lee trying to get another gank off on me will not work. He'll just get me out of lane for a second while the minions push towards him anyways. So I'm not I'm not in too sticky of a situation yet. I'm just doing a very bad job of last hitting, which is unfortunate. But it's it's okay. It's okay. We're still just against the Raven. It looks like Top's doing well now. Got a 1v1 kill on the Wukong. Great job up there. So great. Or 1v1 kill on the Yasuo. Excuse me. Not the Wukong. The Wukong got the kill. Go away, dude. Jeez. What is this guy doing? He's straight up just like... Oh my god. <sighs> cool. Cool. There's nothing we can really do. I don't have mana to really facilitate a gank for him right now. Uh, I, could, I could drop my W and then 1Q. So other than that, I'm not going to be useful for much. And since the wave's pushing on me really hard right now anyways, I just want it to, uh, I just, I just want to try and get as much of the CS as I can. So, it's okay. Let's go ahead and cue that, and then auto, uh, 
And, uh, okay, I got most of them. Not all of them, but most of them. I see that he's just looking out for me, so that's totally fine. But, unnecessary when I have the tower pushing up to me and I have full health. So, just the little things really add up. Because when you're trying to gank or sit at a lane for someone... Um, every second you spend sitting there waiting for something to possibly or possibly not happen, it is time wasted in the jungle, sadly. So, if you're trying to go for, like, say a counter gank or something, you should really only be sitting somewhere if you are goddamn positive something is going to happen. Other than that, do not wait. Because the more time you waste in the jungle, the more money you essentially just lose anyways, or the ability to create pressure anywhere else on the map. Especially if wherever you're sitting is warded, you're really, really only hurting yourself. And you don't want you don't want to hurt yourself, man. You, you never want to hurt yourself. Anyways, I'm going to go back here. Um, let's see. Riven is not trying to interrupt me. So I'm just going to go straight for a Morello Nomicon this game. Actually, let's fucking go for this item. Because this thing will be way better with Lisa and Yasuo and Riven and Ezreal. Um, even though, in my opinion, like, on my first thoughts, I thought Zonia's was super counterproductive on Azir. I was like, well, I can't really attack on it. And then I realized how goddamn stupid I sounded <laughs> thinking that. Zonia's is a protective item. It's not an offensive item, usually. You don't really attack anyone in the first place when you're using a Zonia's, so... I guess saying that just... I don't know, it kind of made me feel silly. So, Zonia's is a good item on any any mage. Don't 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 let me try and tell you otherwise. That was very silly of me. And Nautilus is pretty behind right now, so he's probably going to need to take this blue. That's totally fine. I am in no desperate need for it at the moment. This Riven's not very aggressive on me. But I do need to ping that she is missing, because she could be roaming somewhere right now. And a Riven roaming is pretty pretty stanky to be honest so i'm just gonna go ahead and drop that to get the siege minion uh, let's see she probably yeah she's still at cs me a little bit uh that's kind of expected because for whatever reason i am i am just tremendously bad at cs with this champion still even though i have a lot 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 of fun playing him i am still just so bad so i'm gonna go ahead and use my e here to knock her up and let's go ahead and drop the ignite and there goes her abilities. Whoop. Definitely going to get some more damage off here, though. Make sure if she wants to do anything, she's going to have to back. So there goes her flash. <clears throat> and now I just need to push out this wave. Lee Sin won't be able to kill me if he ganks me. At most, he'll be able to get my flash. But that's... I mean, that's, that's kind of shitty. But it's not the worst thing that could happen. I'm going to tell him to take it because he actually does need it. <clears throat> where I don't particularly need it yet, like I said. So I'm just going to tell him to take it and go back right now. <coughs> so 54 CS, still haven't died to the Riven. And she's at 57 now after backing. She doesn't have Flash. I do have Flash. I don't have Ignite. That is the current situation. I'm just going to buy another Doran's Ring and a Pink Ward. And the Doran's Ring will actually help with my mana sustain. Uh, at the moment, and it'll give me a tiny bit more early power because every mana or every Doran's ring you get, it gives you four more mana back for killing a unit. I was gonna say five, but it's four. So every time I kill a unit now, I get eight mana back. So essentially, if I use my W and then kill freaking what five minions with it, just from the passive on Doran's ring alone, I have already gotten all my mana back. So if she's just gonna stand in my minion, yo, I will. Poke you, hombre. I will. Uh-oh. I missed. So let's go ahead and just jump over this wall here. And it looks like we have Nautilus coming in. This could be good. This could be bad. Oh, that was a questionable flash. I'm going to flash over here. And pop! Get that blue buff from her poking her in the butt. Good job. I flashed over because I was a little nervous of what uh, Lee Sim might try and do to me. But he, he didn't really touch me. Like, he, he touched me, but he didn't really touch me. You know what I'm saying? So it looks like Sebastian picking up a kill bot lane with the help of the beautiful Gordon Ramsay Gaming, a.k.a. Connor. 
So great job down there to both of you fellows, and this will be some more damage off on him. And actually, if you guys are wondering, a lot of people... I know this is a bit further back when Azir was more first released, that everyone's like, Oh my god, Nasher's Tooth is the greatest goddamn thing in the world on Azir. Well, I'm sure you guys know by now, it's... It's Ait, but it's not the greatest thing ever, so... We'll, we'll leave it at that. I'm gonna drop my pink right there. And... Oh no, she's gonna go for the pink! Don't go for it. Don't go for it. Huh. Mm. Eh. Stop it! Eh. 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 Oh no, I didn't E to it, whatever. Alright, I got a lot of damage off on her for trying to take my pink. I did miss a little bit of CS, that's I So... I can just do a drop a minion over here. And get, get over that. Mm. Mm. So let's see, she... Okay, she's not going for me. I thought she was going to try and go for me, but she didn't go for me, so it's I But that's actually another little tip that a lot of people don't know about Azir 2. You can actually use your minions to uh, go for wards. So if you're out of range or something, you can just throw a sand minion in range of it, and he can take it out for you. So my Shreem and Ballers seem to be putting out quite a lot of work so far. I have not had a good chance to use my ultimate yet, but it is okay. Let's go ahead and keep using our advantage of this blue buff we got from the Dead Riven. And my Ignite is back up, but that does not mean I don't have to be careful still. So let's go ahead and just boop, boop, drop these boys. By the way, if any of you guys are... Uh, you know, feeling like conversating about it with me or the viewers in the chat. Well, hello, Lee Sin. It's fancy seeing you here. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and boop. So he's gonna jump to me, and I'm just gonna ult him away, cause I don't really want none. I don't feel like risking. I'm coming, Connor. Connor, I'm coming. Chip, 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 chip. Oh, this. Oh, this Connor ult. Oh. Uh, mm, mm, no! Ugh! Oh god, no! I didn't get the shield! Damn it! I tried to eat on my Shareem and Baller to get the knockup in the shield, but it looks like, whoa! Wukong with a massive cyclone coming out here! And the flash and the Q Bob! There is the double kill! He is going to pay for it with his life, though, but going 4 1 now. Getting me enough money for my needlessly large rod. You are a beast. You're an actual beast right now. So I'm just going to level up my Sand Soldiers more and my Shreem and Ballers a little bit. My pink is still up. Looks like we're getting Dragon off of that. Which is quite the perfect thing to do because we did just kill their jungler and their mid laner and their support. So, yeah, once Sebastian gets over there, double gun Obama going to start melting the Dragon. Let's see what we're, or what they're made of. So that puts me at 1-1-3. One, one, not terrible, my CS is still... Actually, I have established a slight lead on um, onto this ribbon, so... Yay for me! But now that I have this needlessly large rod... Back to what I was saying about the build, actually. Um, a lot of people are like, Oh, Nasher's Tooth, Nasher's Tooth, it's the greatest fucking thing ever! And, I mean, it's Ite. But it's definitely not the greatest thing ever. And go away, Lee Sin! But what I found works really well is just a lot of AP and treating them more like a bursty mage instead of this trying to force them to be some sustained damaging thing. That uh, that burst of AP works a little, little, little lot better because your Q is on a very short cooldown, and when you have multiple Shreem and Ballers out just flying around the map, the amount of damage you can do is awe-inspiring. It's incredible. And no one expects it. So I don't know where Riven went. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use my W on this because I have another W coming up soon. And, alright, Lee Sin's top and Riven's top. So I'm just going to go ahead and take this tower. Um, Nautilus did ask me if I wanted the blue. But right now, me pushing this is more important. I'm not in any dire need for a blue buff. So I hope he just took it instead of trying to wait for me. No! Oh god, I'm bad. Alright, it's okay. So we got level 11, got the tower, and now I can go... I'm gonna run away here. Um... Hiya! 
they took my pink, I'd take their HP points. Wait. HP. HP means hit points. Don't say hit points, points. But now we got the Zonias and Boots. Now let's see. I can go for an Amplifying Tome. Because I do still want the Morella Namicon. They do have a lot of healing on their team. So I do want that AP. And the CDR is it's just incredible on Azir. Uh, CDR increases your attack speed also. Which is... Probably the big reason why a lot of people thought Nashes was so good, because it gives you CDR, attack speed, and AP, and the on-hit effect, which the on-hit effect doesn't apply to your minions, so it's whatever. But, let's actually put this on three. But, um, things like Lyandries, that's a pretty good item on Nazir too, because that actually applies from your spells, which your minions count as spells, so... That's one thing you can do with him. Now let's see if I can get down here and help out uh, help out Connor Connorkin over here. I'm gonna be doing some damage up to her and looks like the Zyra Boop! Uh oh, I totally missed. Well, let's go ahead and drop the ward in here, drop this guy, boink, gonna knock him up, and boink, and boop boop. I missed! Whew. Oh god, my ball or my wall wasn't fast enough. Good job, though, Connor. Good job. Good job. Uh-oh. Boink. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Let's go ahead and bam, knock her up. She's actually going to use the ignite on me. So that will be a kill. <laughs> I'm still bad with his ult. But that puts us at 2-1-4 and four now. I'm actually going to get the sorcerer shoes, and I'll tell you guys why right now. Everyone... Everybody gets Ionian boots on him because don't get me wrong, they're good. But I do actually run different runes for this champion specifically. Um, the runes I run actually give me 15% CDR at level 18. So right now I'm not going to have the CDR, but as I get on through the game, I only need one of the 20% CDR items like Athenes or Morella Namicon to get me capped on CDR at the end of the game because I have 15 in my masteries and then I have 20 in my or not 20 but 5 in um in my thing my whatever they're called what are you doing Ezreal you just boned yourself boy so that'll be a kill off on Ezreal because he was trying to lay down the massive disrespect for no apparent reason uh, I guess he just uh, I guess he just thought I was some chump change I ain't no chump change but anyways, after the 15 in runes, 5 in masteries, 20 from an item, that's 40% CDR right there with no blue buff. So, the Sorcerer's Shoes are way, way, way the hell better for me, um, for, for pretty obvious reasons. Because if you're capped on CDR, what's more CDR going to do for you? It's going to be overcap CDR, and overcap CDR doesn't do diddly squat! And I, don't, I don't know how else to say that. So get the, uh, get the magic pen, and then be a beast. Because this here is a beastly champion. But let's see. 3 one and 4 now. My CS actually is... It's okay. It's it's not good. But it's okay. So I'll take it. Let's go ahead and just launch my Shreeman Baller over here. And miss more CS while I talk about how okay it is. And just queue through that. And let's make a tower. Because the other part of Azir's kit is as passive. Whenever you right click on a dead tower, you make a tower. And it's your tower and no one else can take it from you. It's your tower. Don't let anyone else tell you any differently. So I'm coming. I'm not going to make it, but I'm coming. So this is probably a bad place for me to run. Uh, can I 3v1 a ribbon with no alts? I doubt it. I doubt it. But we can try. Go Nautilus. 2v1. 2v1! Hit him up! Oh, that's a good took. Now let's go ahead and just bong. There's one kill. Now let's go ahead and see if I can get in this groove and the E. And let's see the wall right there. Smashing him into the wall. Boom! Double kill. And that will be two kills down so far. Is Lee Sin going to go for it? He is! And let's see. Alright, I'm going to drop the ignite on this guy. Drop more autos. And drop a Q. Bam! There's another kill! And, oh boy, let's see, come on, bop, 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 use the dash, and the minions, and Q, boop! Uh, no, she shielded it! Fuck. 
damn it! Almost super plays there. But we did do very well. Connor is actually going to pick up this kill. My boy! The beautiful snare. Picking up the double buffs. Great job, Connor. Get my full Morel and Amicon now. And we end this, ladies and gentlemen. 6, 2, and 5. Actually making a lot of plays right there. And Sebastian is trying to 2v1. The calling in his face will take him out. And whoa, the flash over nothing and the flash away from him. Sebastian tried to flash the Karma Q but did not make it in time. Um, but his crits and the Q will totally miss. And the auto attacks. The E and Nautilus is coming. The cripple will miss. Sebastian's kiting. So close. Oh, so close. And this will be... Oh... Where's Lee Sin going? Why is Lee Sin crying? Cause he just got dunked on! I'm gonna take this blue. So this blue is mine. Thank you very much, Nautilus. And now they're gonna get the dragon. And actually after this dragon, I can get another needlessly large rod for my Rabidoodle Stiff Cap. Let's see. Rabido Rabidoodle Spedora? Rabidoodle? Rab Rabidido? Rab Rabida? I see you guys liked what I did with the Wooglets, so I'm going to do that with the uh, Rabidons too. Because I actually, in I really, really like making names like that for things. So if, if you guys aren't annoyed by it, then you can bet your sweet patooties I'm going to be doing that shit a lot more. Ezra, are you laughing again? Don't you remember what happened last time, you little jerk boy? You little jerk boy! Get cute, son. Get, get, get cute. Uh oh. I'm fine. Wow. <laughs> I'm not even swerving in this boy. I can't even. <laughs> what is she doing? Alright, let's see. So the snare will miss, but it is okay. Connor has instilled fear into the hearts of many. And that's. That's more than I can say I've done today. So I'm proud of you, Connor Ken. It looks like karma's over here. I'm coming. Let's go ahead and drop some mo. Oh, no, let's not drop some minions over there. Because there's a ribbon. Um, Connor might be in a finicky situation. But I'm coming. I'm coming. And this will be the culling. And no, I will not land a hit bonk. So let's go ahead and... Boop. Yeah. All right, no one's in there. Up. Oh, maybe. Maybe. Hoot. My Shuriman Baller has skewered him! A very good shot. Now let's see, there's Nautilus coming up from behind. I think that's warded Ombre, but let's see if we can... Hup! Alright, I'm, I'm about to go in this. I'm about to... What? What just happened? Alright, let's see. Woo! Let's go ahead and flash them with the wall, knocking them both away! Popping the Zonias, and that will be a huge play to wreck them, gaining Sebastian the triple kill. And that was pretty good in Screcked, in Wrecked. Oh god, flashing to all both of them back towards my teammates will destroy them and the tower. So, that was, that was the play I've been wanting to make with Azir. 400 gold off of the Rabidoodles, Dibberder. And then I will be able to do lots and lots and lots of damage. So, well, lots and lots and lots more damage, even. So let's see if we can hit that point, And I'll show you boys and girls how you do the general of the Shreeman Ballers. Actually, I think, I don't even know what his actual title is. I have no idea, dude. So let's just auto these guys. Kill them. Whoa! It looks like he is not going to be in a good situation. Jaquan, what's going on? Wait, what's his name? Juwan. I thought his name was Jaquan. I'm gonna keep calling him Jaquan. There's enough money for my uh my thing too. Oh, oh, boop. I'll go ahead and take that. Let's see the snare not gonna come out. And Shreeman Wreck. Actually, that did a lot of damage. Pop. 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 Pop pop. 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 Whoa, get out of here, boy. Bop, bop, bop. Oh, that's not going to be a kill. Very close, though. So, the immense poke. It's pretty immense. Bop, 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 boop. Bop. Uh, uh. Dude, 
What are they gonna do? He ain't doing. Uh, 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 and the wall back onto Zyro. It's a bit ambitious. Oh my god, I'm such a. Ah! Oh god, I'm not a beast. I went walking straight into uh, the Wukong ultimate, or not the Wukong, the Zyra ultimate, the Ezreal ultimate, that's what I'm trying to say. And Wukong just coming in and he's going to wreck all of them, but the snare will be too much and Wukong's dead, but Nautilus just bopping her to death. That will be an another, what was that, an ace? So Aesu coming out, I tried to keep them on Zyra's ult. So overall, that actually went pretty well. And let's see, we got the Rebadoob Fribadoober. And now we have almost a Void Staff. So let's actually go ahead and sell this. Actually, it's not worth yet. I want that HP. Ouch! I just hit my ankle really, really hard on my chair. <laughs> Alright, whatever. Let's go show them what for it means to be a Super Saiyan Lesbian. Because I have my big... No, blue's up. Never mind. Good luck, Nautilus. I was going to come help you, but... But, I mean, I don't think I'll get there in time. Um, I stand corrected. I probably would have gotten there in time. So, I'm... I'm sorry. I, I think I would have gotten there in time to help now. But, uh, but blue buff. I'm... I'm sure he understands. I'm sure he understands. So, let's see. Leeson has no MR. Uh, Nautilus got the tower, so it totally is Earth. And let's see. Bonk. Alright, Leeson's not in here. There he is. Shreem and Ballers coming in for Sebastian's black up. Oh boy, Sebastian. Whoa! Whoa! What is he? Okay. Trying to make the plays. And let's see. Boink. 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 Doing tons of damage here. Come on. Come on. Let's battle. Mm. Damn it! He had freaking no HP. Hey, yeah! So let's see here. All inhibitors are open, actually. So I'll just walk up and give this one. Hey, yeah. Oh. Oops. Can I really not attack inhibitors when I have my Shreem and Ballers out? That's something I didn't know. Uh-oh. Alright. I was about to super outplay this boy if he tried to do that. And let's see. Oh, the snare and boop. There's a kill. And uh-oh. The Zonia's and the ult oh, go away. Oh. Oh, my God. I lived! Wait. Shreem and Ballers. Oh, that snare! And Shreem and Ballers! We'll take him out. And let's see, come on. One more sh for Shreem! Oh, I'm not gonna get it. But that will be the inhibitor. And I'm gonna go clear this minion wave too. Cause I want it. I'm pretty low. But Ezreal did just alt, so I ain't, I ain't even concerned. Boop. Let's see, 198 at 28 minutes. Not terrible. Two inhibitors down. I need to get, get the fuck out of here. And I mean, like, get Because I'm actually a bird god. But let's go ahead and grab our void staff. Uh, good luck, Sebastian. I'm sure he's fine. I'm sure he's totally fine. I'm actually going to be selling this thing. JK, don't have the money yet. Um. Windwall has blocked, excuse me, it has culled the culling. Let's see the scrying orb given vision of them. Azir is incoming, looks like the, the, the Nautilus has been totally insected, but it looks like Sebastian will crit for that last shot, taking out this boy's bones, ripping them out of his body. And Ezreal is going down to 5 and 10 status now, so not looking too handsome. Um, let's actually drop a tower on this one. So, we'll just get a tower right there and see if their blue is up. Is it up? Riven! I wanted that, you bitch! Uh, come here. Come here. Uh, damn it, she's so fast. This game is rigged. This game is rigged, man. Uh-oh. Whoop! Alright, got the slow, got some damage, got some damage. And let's see if we can bop. Do some damage off on here. Boink! There goes the tower. And let's see, let's not get knocked up by that. And boink! There goes the other tower with my W. Fun fact, you guys can use your W on towers. Um, so 
so just in case y'all didn't know that. Let's go ahead and just wong them back into their base. Let's just cor Whoa! That double kill wrecking them for the end of the game. Damn, a great Azir game if you guys ask me. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you like and favorite it helps me out. If you want to, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Twitch. All things will be in the description below. Also, my new channel will be down there too. So make sure you guys go subscribe to that if you want to see me play other games. And as always, I love you guys and I hope you have a wonderful day. Peace!